А нет. So we don't have to wash all we'll wash these and I'm going to um clean out the side inside of it but I just want to take your take note make sure that you put a little hole a little hole in these little spots right here okay okay And then we're going to clean it out. Then I'll put it in hot water it's just for about two to three minutes just to soften it up a little bit. So this is the way it should look after you clean it. And you can cut off the top of it, clean it in the inside out. It should look like this here. And then you know you, the outside of it, you know, we cut the, um, put little holes, each one of the little humps. Okay. And I'm just going to stick in some water, about two or three minutes hot water. Put in some boiling water for about two or three minutes just to soften it up a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to make the hamburger and season it, and we're going to stuff it in here, and we're going to bake it at 350 for about 40 minutes, or until done. Just a little bit of each of these. That's what we're going to do. Yes, babies. Drain, drain it. I'm going to thicken up a little bit. So I put a little flour in here. And a little, um, hold on for a second. I want it to be thick, thick a little bit. So I put a little bit of flour and um, water together. Just a little bit. Like about two teaspoonfuls. A little bit of water. This I just want it to be thick, and I'm gonna stir it up, stir it around a little bit. I just want it to be a little thick. I don't want it to be uh, watery inside the um, bell pepper. The stew tomatoes I just drain it, and I then chopped up the stew tomatoes real fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix my cooked spaghetti with this, and I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my bell peppers. So I got all of this done, and I chop up my spaghetti. As best as I could when I put it in here. So let's chop it up. Just take your phone as well and just chop it up. Or you can chop it up before you put it in here. Okay. And now we're going to stuff the peppers. Okay. I put um, a little bit of olive oil in the sauce. A little sauce I have on here. And I'll put some onions. Let me get to grab the onions just a moment. Uh, some onions. Put this in the bottom of the pan. Okay. And then I'll add my peppers. I kind of overcook these a little bit because I only put bean in about two or three minutes, but I let it stay in there a little too long, <laughs> as y'all can see. <laughs> but make sure you yours don't overcook. <clears throat> Just about two or three minutes. Just to, um, um, what they call it, blanch it. Okay, so, and then we're going to fill them up. Fill them up with meat. And um, meat, but I mix, mix mine with, instead of rice, I did the spaghetti. A few moments later. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to put this in the oven. As you see, I got them all stuffed, cleaned out. When you clean out the ins, cut the top off and clean out the inside. And make sure you scrape it real good and rinse it very well. <clears throat> and put your um, green peppers in there in the hot water. This is the blanch it. I think that's the word you use. And um, about two or three minutes. <clears throat> I let mine stay in there too long. This is a little too long, but. 
And then you can put a little sauce in the bottom or a little bit of water at the bottom of the pan just to keep it from sticking. Did that look good? Like I said, y'all could cook rice and then you can mix it with the um, ingredients that you're going to put on the inside. You can do it that way as well. But I did only to use spaghetti. Hey guys, this is the final results. I pulled it out of the pan and put it on a serving dish. And I just love the way it came out. Look at that. And you can top it if you have any shredded cheese, like shred shredded Parmesan cheese. Feel free to put that on top. And I did add some crushed red peppers to this. I didn't, you didn't see me put it in there, but I just had that last minute thought. But um, you should, you should see the seasoning I put in there, but feel free to add maybe like Italian seasoning or celery salt. If you put celery salt in, do not put salt in it. But these came out so good. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, guys.